So we're creating a boot receiver, right? A brand new boot receiver. Okay. So just like before, whenever you start a new receiver uh, or any main building block, you extend something from the system. Organize imports or control shift O and then add unimport methods. So this is now our template for running um, a uh, for running the uh, the broadcast uh, for um, writing a broadcast receiver. Now what do we want to do in this on receive method? This is the one that wakes up once the system is finished booting. What is that we would like to have done? Start a service. All right. So how would you start a service? Okay. Sure. New intent. <clears throat> what was the command used to start a service? Start service for a new intent and then you type in some kind of intent we used to use this comma uh, let's say updater service service dot class and this doesn't compile What's that? I want to start it. I want to start a <laughs> service. So when the system boots up, I want to start a service. So it's always on, always running. You know how like when you boot up your phone, and if you look at the running services like I showed you guys yesterday, um, I had a gazillion services, if you, if you recall. Let me see if I can uh, pull that thing up again. But... Uh, so, applications, running services, and, and let me do this. Oh, I need to plug in both sides of the cable. What the concept? There it is. Bam. Oops. No desk. I wanted to show you this screen, right? So, uh, so I have Google Voice three services, Facebook one service, Android Open one service, Google Plus one service. I did not study services. Trust me. They're just there, right? They just got started. So we want to be one of them, play with the big boys, right? So how do we do that? Um, so that's that's exactly what we're doing, and it's gonna be like it's gonna be a couple of lines of code. So why is this not compiling? We still have to register it. That's correct. I mean, you have to let the context know that it exists. Yes. Yeah. We'll do that. What else? Yeah, so um, where does this, where does start service come from? Context. So an activity and uh, activities and services are context. Receivers have context. So it's a slightly different relationship. You still everything's still available to you. It's just that you don't inherit, but you it's a has a relationship, right? So the context is given to us right here. Context. 
just design something in differently in them. Okay. So as opposed to saying start service, we say context dot start service. And also as opposed to passing this, we would pass context. So that's the only difference. Everything else works. Yeah. We didn't define what, what are we seeing. Yeah, we're going to do that in the yeah, sec second. So, so far, what we're working on is this part of the equation. So, we are saying what happens when this wakes up. We have not defined, we have not subscribed it, subscribed for anything. Right? The context represents the context in which something is running. So it could be an application, thus application context. It could be an activity, which is usually then the same context as the application context. So they both, they can Yes. It depends on what you're subscribed to, right? We haven't done the subscribing part yet. We have only done one half of the equation so far. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't registered. So, um, one thing that I would also do is I would add the log cat here just because otherwise we don't know that this actually happened. So, I'll just say log dot d, that comma, Wrote, uh, actually, I don't have a D, so I'm going to hard code it here. This is just so we have some visual confirmation that things are working. As you can see, this is just a couple of lines of code. So far, so good. So, what we're, what we do next is we need to register this broadcast receiver, right? So, where do we register it? Manifest file, yeah. Yeah. So the, we register everything in a manifest file, right? So just like we had activities, services, and so on, we just add the receiver. Control space, receiver, control na Android name, it's going to be dot boot receiver. Now, the way we register for something is via intent filters. So basically, system when system is done booting, what's going to happen is system is going to broadcast an intent. It's going to go to the top of the mountain and say, I'm done booting, right? The guys who get notified about that are the ones who are filtering for that message, right? You might have seen an intent filter here, but we haven't really used it before. Right? It was kind of given to us by the boilerplate code. So now we are actually going to use an intent filter to filter for that message. That's how we subscribe. Right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say control, uh, control uh, space intent filter. Okay? And then within intent filter, I'm going to do control space action and control space name.
Okay. So it's the action that triggers waking up of this broadcast re uh, broadcast receiver by intent filter. So in other words, action must match. Like you, action could be anything. It could be Bobby, right? But you would really then have to have a broadcast that says Bobby. Okay. So how do you know what broadcasts are available? Well, one quasi useful place is to go to Android uh, developer Android com uh, and type in intent and go to the documentation for intent. And here you have some of the common types of um, broadcasts or uh, intents that the system sends all the time. Right? These are action view, action attach, action pick. Mostly to do with UI. Uh, broadcast actions, action time tick, action time changed, action package installed, action, you know, um, power connected, action shutdown, and so on and so on. And then there's also a boot complete somewhere. I did. Yeah. You would think this is alphabetical. Uh, so that's the one. Yeah. So there's the there's the message that the system is going to send to the world once we're done booting. Right? So, uh, what you need to do is you need to copy this let this value, letter by letter. So make sure it's not boot complete. It's boot completed. Right? Copy it and paste it into your code. So far so good. Now, this is one part of the equation. The other one is um, that we must check if we have permissions to get this notification. So the way it works is the system is going to send this broadcast message only to those who are allowed to get it. Yeah. So if you're not allowed to get this notification, Nobody's going to come to you and say, hey, I got something for you, but you're not allowed to know about it, so I can't tell you what that something is. And it doesn't work like that. It'd be too much information. Okay. So in the case of activities, if you try to do something that you're not allowed to, it just breaks because you're explicitly trying to do something you're not allowed to. But here, because you're on the receiving end, even telling you that you're not allowed to receive would be too much information, right? It'd be a security call. So you, you, if you don't need to know, you don't know, right? So if we want to know, and thus we want to make sure we have the right permissions. So to do that, we will go to uh, documentation, and it says you must call receive boot completed permission in order to receive this broadcast. So now if I click on that. That's a Java constant. I need the actual permission, which is this long text that says boot receive boot completed. Right? So you'd copy paste it. It's all under intent. And then I will need to add that into my permissions. Something like that. So we're going to ask the user to give us this permission. And with that, we should be good.
So to test if this is working, what we're going to do first is we're going to um, install it. Don't forget that, because you just change the code, you need to push this code into the device. Because installing it on the device analyzes the manifest file and actually says, oh look, this guy has a boot receiver and we need to notify it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So make sure you run your code. If nothing else, just to restore it. To, to install it. Okay. So far so good. So um, what we would want to do next is we would want to uh, finally shut this guy down. It's not my favorite. It's a nice you guys know because it takes the time. Okay. And now you want to start it, but you don't want to. You want to start it in a particular way. You want to start it just by powering it up. In other words, not from some snapshot, not from some running some app. You just want to turn your phone on. The equivalent of that, right? So that would basically look like this. You would go there. You would say, "I want to start this guy." You can start. Okay. I don't want to wipe user data out, and I do not want to launch from from snapshot. Just want to launch it. Just power it up. It's gonna take some time. So let's see. So I have not even unlocked this phone, right? I haven't done anything. Let me see the log cat first. Okay, so let me see. Uh, oh, this seems like our update or service, right? So let me see, ADB Lockyet, boot, receiver, star. Oh. Star sounds. Uh, the first three are not our boot receiver. The last one is. They worked.